today we are going to make, if you get a little peek from there, oh, something really special. It is the No Sew Easter Bunny Finger Puppet. I've got two fingers in there. I could probably put one like that. It's a little bright, moving back right there. So, before we show them off, welcome! My name is Terrence Burke. I am a puppeteer and teaching artist, and this is Puppet Crafts for Kids. So tell me, how are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Oh, I need a haircut, so I put my hat on. There, how's it look? Get my Sasquatch badge right there. So we're here, and we're going to make a no-sew Easter Bunny. Bring him back up. Ah, here he is. Puppet Craft. And we have got a complete pattern all printed and ready to go. And the directions for this can be found on our website, which is wumpmucketpuppets.com. And that's the same as in our Facebook. Uh, there's a link there. And there is a link on our website that says Puppet Crafts for Kids. You push that little link and it goes down and it shows you the no So Easter Bunny finger puppet pattern. Now, pattern might be too much of a, a fancy word to use for this. It's more of a, a guide. So you can adjust this to fit your fingers. I, I made this for two of my fingers, which are a little bit bigger. And uh, this is kind of like an idea sheet. Not so much instructions, but use this to, uh, to start to make your Easter Bunny. And uh, it's on there on wantmucketpuppets.com. Now, before we start making it, a bit of history for you. The Easter Bunny first arrived right here in America in the 1700s. Imagine that, thanks to German immigrants who were living in Pennsylvania. Hmm, I didn't know that. So that's a neat bit of history. Today, we are going to build the puppet out of felt and pieces. I already have them cut, but a lot of felt you can use. I have got, all the time, scraps from different projects. In fact, if they're a certain size, I put them in a bag and then I can go through and find different pieces that you can use. Don't worry if you don't have felt at home and have no way of, of getting felt during these uh, trying times, you can use construction paper. That will work just as well. We'll just switch the glues. Uh, the felt is the, what we're going to build out of, but if you don't have that, you can use construction paper. If you're gluing the felt, the fabric together, we're going to use, uh, you know, I, I personally like the Fabri-Tac, which is a, a more expensive permanent adhesive. But if you just have a regular craft glue at home, that'll work. Well bond will work. But if you have just regular old Elmer's glue, this will work just fine. If you don't have glue and you're doing this with paper, tape. Okay. As well as a stapler. The whole thing about these crafts is we're not building puppets that are going to be in television movies. We're building something for fun that you can have a, something to play and put on a show at home, which is important. So we have our felt, we have our glue, we have the pattern, and there's one tool that you will need to do all of this, and that is a pair of scissors. All right, that. These are really sharp ones that I have. If you have fabric scissors, Maybe ask your parents to help you cut out the patterns, and then you will use pins to put the fabric see, on there like that, and then cut that out. I have already pre-cut the felt so we can move along, and I've cut out what the pattern look like. Let me bring it up to the camera there, you see. So I will show you the different pieces that I have already cut out. This are, we need two pieces, the back and the front. We will need two bunny ears on the outside, but then on the in, and I'll move them away here because I was going to glue them. These are pinker. The light is kind of bright. You can't see it very well, but these are a pink, and this is almost a cream color. Uh, I, that, that's what I had. I had a cream felt. If you like a white bunny and you have white paper, that's fine. If you want a brown one, if you want a black one, any color is fantastic. The other pieces, these are small, we'll hold them up, you can see them. These are little bunny eyes, and I just cut those out of scrap piece. And I had some, I made a little pink bunny nose. The pink there is a little bit better. Hold that out. And of course, 
whiskers, and we'll show you how to fan these out. I didn't cut the other side, so I'm going to show you how to do that in a little bit. I'll hold it up there. And then his little bunny mouth. Oh, I could make a mustache. Ha! Ah, look at that! Wee wee! <laughs> and it's just a white piece of felt. You know what this is going to be? This is going to be his teeth. See? And I'll show you the trick how I made them stick out like that. So we'll put that over there and we'll move along. So the first part we're going to do is, and I keep a paper towel handy in case I need to clean up anything, move those over. We are going to glue the inner ear piece, and maybe you can see the colors a little bit better. See, there is the cream color, and there is the pink color one. We're going to glue these together. So I'm going to, whoops, sticking to me. Move that over there. I'm going to get my Fabri-Tac glue, which is a good fabric glue. A little expensive for just doing crafts. I use this for puppet building, but it works really well and it dries fast. And I'm just going to do a small bead. If you just have regular Elmer's glue, that is just fine. And we got them on there. And we're going to center this at the bottom. And move it over a little bit. And press down. There we go. And we'll do the next one. It's a warm day here in Cincinnati. I took a walk earlier. And I wore my hoodie. And it was really warm. I eventually had to take off my hoodie because uh, it was so warm. I was really sweaty. It was feeling like summertime almost, and really, we're not even a whole month into spring. How is it where you're living, huh? I hope it's uh, nice, not rainy. Although it's springtime, the flowers need the rain. The Easter rabbits like the rain, I imagine. There we go. We're going to press that down. Okay. Now, we're going to put our bunny ears... Move my glue. Put them over here and let those dry a little bit. Now we're going to glue onto the front piece. This is going to be his face. See? Like that. We'll start with the eyes. And just a little bit of glue goes a long way. You don't want to overdo it with the glue because then it'll seep out. But if you do, and it does, can often pick it off and it's all right. A lot of glues today dry clear, so it's not that much of a, a bother. And then we're going to do the other eye, another little drop of glue. There we go. Crafting glue works just fine, especially with felt. I'm using this. I, I, I buy a lot of this. I have, <laughs> so I've got quite a glue collection being a puppeteer. Different glues for different jobs. In fact, I've got a chart that has uh, all the different things you can use the glues and which ones and which works best. Like a little bit, I call them spider webs. A little bit of glue on me there. All right, there are our bunny's eyes. See. Next, they kind of look like Easter eggs, don't they? We're going to put, you know what this is? What shape is this? It's a triangle. All right. And a little bit of glue again to glue the nose on. There we are. Yeah, that should work. And we put this just a little ways down. I don't really measure. I'm kind of uh, making this up as I go along. All right, there's the nose. Press that down. To give you a, another peek of it there. See, there's the nose. And next, we're going to do the whiskers. See, and we fan these out a little bit. So what I've done with this is we're only going to put the glue 
right at the ends and then a little bit on the whisker parts because I'm going to kind of stretch them out when we glue them down so it gives it the whisker look hmm? like a bunny or a cat so we'll start with that you know what I'll do first though so I'm ready I didn't cut this one I wanted to show you this see it's kind of almost a, a U shape see that so I cut down uh, maybe about three quarters of an inch or so they don't have to be exact just two little snips and then see it has they're fanned out like that maybe a little bit more it gives it the ability to to spread there just a little snip there it is that should work oh yeah that worked I'll show you again hey reminds me of a uh, uh, turn it around like that kind of an octopus huh okay now we will take the glue again and put a little on the base of the whisker just a bit and then on the whiskers themselves so they hold down when we glue them on and just putting a little drop that'll hold just fine There we go. And we put these up by our bunny's nose. I do a little bit lower. And then as I'm gluing it down, I kind of spread them. And then I press. I'll do the other one, then I'll show you how it looks. And once again, a little bit of glue on the base and just a little on the the whisker pieces there we are and just kind of look at it there and I spread them out there I'll hold this up for you to see see how they're spread Okay, now we'll put that aside for a moment because what do you think goes next? We've got the eyes, the nose, the whiskers. Hmm? What would be next on our bunny? His mouth, right? Well, I left the teeth not cut. I didn't cut it. I kept just a piece. It looked a, a triangle-ish piece triangular piece that's what I should have said and I just will snip it here into something that looks almost bunny toothish and then we just do a couple little snip in the middle and pull that out there we are and hold that up you see that there what we're going to do with this is glue it on the inside of the mouth and there's going to be a reason for that the reason is it's going to be one piece and then it gives it that almost forward looking so he's kind of a buck tooth rabbit all right so our glue again and we're going to glue this we'll hold it up right into the center. It almost looks like a drawing of a bird, but we turned it upside down. It looks like a mustache. We're going to do it right in the middle. So I just put a little bit of glue on the top. And turn it over. So it's just in the middle. And I'll bring this up to the camera. So you can see that. See how that looks? And when we turn it around, it makes it look like the rabbit teeth are kind of sticking out a bit. And when we glue it all down to the mouth now, 
uh, to the body, it makes it even more so. All right, I'm going to press that down and hold it for a minute, or not even, a couple seconds there. There it is. And just do two little patterns, one going this way, and one going on the other side, a little bit in the middle. And then again into the center. And that just goes and touches right up by the bottom of the bunny's nose. And press that down. Okay. And I hold that up. And you see? And see how the teeth stick out a little bit, kind of like a bunny? All right, now we've got the face together. We're going to glue the ear. So we're going to move our bunny's face over. And then this is the back of our bunny finger puppet. And what we'll do is take our two ears and you put a little bit of our glue just on the back. And I am going to just position it so it's maybe about a half an inch down and pointing up. Turn it like that so you can see it. And press down again. You see how I have it positioned? <clears throat> I should get a little drink of water, my voice. <laughs> I think it's the pollen outside. Good to keep a bottle of water nearby. Okay, <clears throat> I will now glue the next rabbit ear. Rabbit ears, my people out there, maybe your mom or dad, or your grandparents even, will know what I mean when I say TV rabbit ears. Before streaming and cable TV, you had to have an antenna on the top of your TV that were two big sticks that kind of sort of look like rabbit ears, I suppose. And that's how they, they called them rabbit ears, because they pointed up. Well, they didn't really look that much like a rabbit, but because they came up like this, like a peace sign, yeah. All right, pressing that down. And I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see it like that. Here we are. We are making a no-sew Easter bunny, and we're coming into the uh, home stretch here. Say hello. There. And all of the directions will be on the website. In fact, they're there now. So if you visit us at wumpmucketpuppets.com, you can find them and print it out. All right, now I'm going to run the glue around the edge and down. We are not going to glue any glue here because this is where your finger will go. So I'll start with this. We'll put our, our scissors away in their little drawer over here. And I clean off the glue and we just put the bead of glue along the edge around here and then over the top there a little bit in the middle over that part of the ear and back up the side here there we are and cap our glue And then lining the two up, working from the bottom, and then pressing down. And a little bit of glue leaked out, but that's okay. I'll clean up, paper towel. And then press it at the top. 
And now we're going to let this dry. But that there, we have our finished one. Here he comes. <laughs> All right, we'll move our camera back here. Well, there it is. The No So Easter Bunny Finger Puppet. Hmm? Did you like that? Should we should we test out the puppet? All right, we'll put him back on there. Well, hello there. Uh, my name is the Easter Bunny, and you know, <laughs> with Easter only being five days away, I've got a knock-knock joke for you, all right? You ready out there, folks watching? All right, here it comes. Knock, knock. Go ahead, type. Who's there? We're watching the screen. <laughs> we'll pretend that we heard you. Who's there? Anna. Anna who? Anna, other Easter Bunny. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. All right, that is the Easter Bunny. Keep in mind that our complete directions and the pattern that could be adjusted for uh, smaller fingers. If you make it smaller, you need to, and the different pieces are in there, as well as all of the directions on how to build our no So Easter Bunny finger puppet are on our website, wumpmucketpuppets.com, and go to the tab that says Puppet Crafts for Kids, and that'll show you the, the link right there. And uh, I know that this will be a fun little project for kids to make, that we have that. Now, if you enjoy these free activities that we offer here on our Facebook page and the videos and the fun that we offer, please, we ask you if you could make a small donation to Want Mucket Puppets through our coffee page. That is ko-fi, and the link is on our website. And that'll really help us out here at Want Mucket Puppets to create supplies and share things with you. And there's other puppet crafts Look at this. A couple weeks ago, we made this Bigfoot, hmm? Just out of a finger tube. There, there he is. And oh, last week we had, doesn't look like much, but it was the Cracker Baby Elephant Shadow Puppet, huh? And back on Mr. Rogers' birthday, here he is here. Axe the Owl, well, nifty galifty. So, we hope that you enjoy them and that you uh, can tell your friends. That would be great. And let us know about it and let us leave a message. If you do make some of these Easter bunnies, please leave us a message. Show us a picture. Have your mom or dad take a picture of your no so Easter bunny finger puppet and share it here on our Facebook page and tell your family and friends where you found it. We'd love to have more folks watching us and learning how to make puppets. So have fun, stay safe, and have a wonderful Easter. And visit us again at Want Mucket Puppets right here on our Facebook channel. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye. <laughs>